Hello, this is Dr. Grande. Welcome to my video on reorganizing output in SPSS using the pivoting trays. So I have loaded fictitious data in this data editor, SPSS data editor, and I have an independent variable and three dependent variables. And I've inputted these data specifically so I could generate an output table that would allow me to demonstrate how the results can be reorganized. So I'm just going to go to Analyze, then General Linear Model, and Multivariate. I'm going to load Program as the independent variable, Fixed Factor, and Motivation, Severity Index, and Functioning as the dependent variables. Under Options, I'm going to select Descriptive Statistics, and display means for overall and for the program. And click continue. And again, if you were really running a MUNOVA, which is what this would be, I have a separate video that covers multivariate analysis of variance. I'm just doing this to generate a table that would be good to work with. So click OK. And we can see the results for the MUNOVA and I'm going to be using the descriptive statistics table although you can see there are many tables in this particular statistic and the output for this particular statistic so when you move over a table when you move the cursor over you can see that a comment comes up that says double click to activate so I'm going to do that I'm going to double click on this descriptive statistics table and then I'm going to right click and you can see down here I have an option pivoting trays and toolbar so I'm going to activate the toolbar you can also get directly of course to pivoting trays by clicking on pivoting trays but you can get to it from the formatting toolbar as well and I'm first going to demonstrate a few of the features of the formatting toolbar so you could take select from this table all the output and for example you could change the font a popular font choice in counseling research would be Times New Roman a 12 point and you can also change the font and make it bold uh, italics or underline and uh, you can also change the colors here as well or just for specific items for example if I went back and just clicked on des descriptive statistics and wanted to change that to green I could do just that and not change the color for the entire table. You can also generate charts directly from the formatting toolbar. So again, if I wanted to display all this information, I select it. And for example, I could select a bar graph and it's going to put that directly beneath the table that you're working in. So going back to this table, again, double clicking formatting toolbar comes back up. You can get to the pivot controls by clicking here. This will bring up the pivoting trays. And of course, as I demonstrated before, you can also right click and select here. You can see now that I brought up through the formatting toolbar that it appears here as checked off. And the pivoting trays offer a lot of flexibility in terms of formatting how the data is displayed. So you can see now uh, on the outside in the first column we have motivation severity and functioning the three dependent variables then program which is an independent variable has three levels individual group and treatment as usual and that's the next column over then I have the mean the standard deviation and the sample size that corresponds with each of these combinations of the dependent variable and the level of the independent variable and if you look here at the pivoting trays that matches what's here. You have dependent on the outside all the way to the left, more toward the middle program, next one over, and then up top you have statistics. And there's a few different things you can do here. You can drag and drop these different elements. For example, if I want this to, if I want dependent to appear up here with statistics, I just drag it and drop it up there and now this uh, these data are arranged by 
the particular statistic like mean, standard deviation, and the sample size. And then underneath, we have the three dependent variables. Similarly, I could move the dependent variable back and move the independent variable up. And how I have the independent variable displayed underneath the statistics. Return that. If I just want to transpose the table, I don't need to drag and drop. I can just go to pivot and transpose rows and columns. It'll take care of it in one step. Another useful feature here is what's called the layer. And you can see it has a space where I can drag any of these items just like I have over here with row and column. So for example, if I drag dependent over to layer, now you can see it appears as a drop down box and I can select what dependent variable. So let's say I go to severity and click. Now I have descriptive statistics severity. So just the levels of the independent variable program, the mean, the standard deviation, and the sample size for severity. Double click again and it's going to retain that in the layer. I could switch to any of the other variables. Similarly, I could move that back and do the same thing with program and select between different levels of the independent variable program. Or I could put program up top and move statistics into the layer and then select the different statistics that I want to be displayed for all three of the dependent variables and all of the levels of the independent variable. And in this case, we do have three levels of the independent variable, individual, group, and treatment as usual. Additionally, layer can handle more than one. So you can drag, so here I have statistics. Up there, you can drag dependent. And then you can select both. So you can select just the standard deviation for functioning. And you'll get that divided up by the levels of the independent variable program. So the pivoting trays feature offers you a lot of options for quickly reorganizing the data in the SPSS tables. If you want to change other properties of the table, like the way the table is displayed, you can move back to the table and right click. And you can go directly to table properties, which allows you to edit a lot of the features of the table, uh, the lines, both horizontal and vertical cell formats, and printing options. You can also get there by right-clicking and selecting table looks. This is where you can save particular styles. I have a separate video that covers this. You can get back to table properties from here by hitting edit look. I hope you found this video on reorganizing output in SPSS to be helpful. As always, if you have any questions or concerns, feel free to contact me. I'll be happy to assist you.